What's up everyone? Matt Layton, Sean Battle. Welcome back to another real estate video. Today's video is going to be the top 10 most expensive cities in the world to live in for an expat. So think foreigner living in another city. These are cities from across the nation that's going to span the, I'm going to say six continents since there's no cities on Antarctica, are there? No, I don't think so. What's the it's capital like of base? What's the capital of Antarctica? <laughs> yeah, there so, is none. I don't know. So this is going to be all across the world, the top ten most expensive cities. Sean, how's it going today? Matt, I, I, honestly, I'm going a little crazy this going week. Going crazy? Yeah. What's going on? So my wife has got me looking at these houses, right? And we're we're planning on moving, but something about my wife is like. She loves everything quirky, right? Everything, like if she was going to adopt an animal, yeah. it would be the animal with three legs or no nose or something like that. Right. Which says a lot about me, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, but so like we go to these houses and there's this house that she's been like, oh, we could, we could do so much to this place. They have done everything that you would tell a homeowner not to do, yeah. right? So like they've upgraded things where the cabinets are nice, but they're just not... It, the same, the not the good not style. The style. So you've got to rip them out. Yeah. So it's like this humongous project that she really wants to get into, and I'm like, man, I, I just don't know that it's worth it. Yeah. Right? So my stress level's up here a what little you, bit. You know? What are you gonna do? You know, uh, well, we're, the you listing know, agent might be watching. Yeah, so. He might be. He might be. Or she. Or she. Who is it? I they, don't know. Which house is it? <laughs> they both might be watching. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, so, you know, we had a contractor over there today just to yeah. see, like, give me a ballpark of how much is this going to cost so then I can formulate an offer if we actually go that route. Yeah. It's got my blood pressure up a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. a little bit, but that's all right. Bit. We'll get through it. Cool. All right, so this is the Mercer World Report of the top cities, most expensive cities for expat. And what I want for, for an expat, what I want to start with is how this survey came up and why it's important. So basically think of an international company that is hiring globally, how they go about with their hiring decisions, with their compensation packages, when you have employees from across the world that are gonna move uh, on location. That's right. So this is gonna measure cities from across, it says five continents, I guess that's what they've whittled it down to. Um, and it's gonna measure things like cost of living, the housing, transportation, food, clothing, household goods, and entertainment. Some of these cities, I'm not sure what the entertainment is, but <laughs> let's just jump into the, the top 10. Just to kind of give you an idea, London is coming in at 23rd. Dubai is coming in at 21st. That's kind of surprising. Other cities that didn't crack the top 10, Los Angeles, which is somehow the 18th most expensive city, but if you watch the previous video, it's also one of the best city for cities for buyers. For buyers. Yeah. So that's the some of these There's reports. The high tier and the low yeah. tier, I guess, right? Some of the other ones that didn't crack the top ten: San Francisco, Tel Aviv, um, Victoria, which is in the Se Seychelles. 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 Yeah. Seychelles. Yeah. You know where that is? Yeah. It's off of uh, east, off of the African coast. It's an island, and it's crazy because. The name is almost seashells, yeah. and it's called Seychelles. See, maybe that's where it's they got it. I don't know. Things that you think of when you're bored. <laughs> so the top 10 cities are, number one is Shenzhen. This is the city right um, on the border of China, right next to Hong Kong. Number nine. That's actually number 10. You said yeah. number one. So number 10 oh, on the list. Yeah. Number 10. Thank you. Number 10 is Shenzhen. I've never, honestly, I've never heard of that. My city. buddy, he lives <laughs> in Hong Kong, and him and his girl, fiance, wife, girlfriend, yeah. They take the train to Shenzhen and back like it's the Maryland border. Really? You know, they go oh, back and cool. forth. Because they say that, well, spoiler alert coming up, but they say that things are cheaper in Shenzhen than Hong Kong, which is why oh, they do it. Yeah. Number nine, New York City. And that was kind of a baseline for this study. They were looking like, all right, how do things compare versus New York City? So yeah. New York City is number nine. Well, the thing is about New York City, what I'll say about New York City is my brother learned the hard way. Yeah. My brother lived in New York City for two years. Uh, he's on the radio. He's on um, Sirius XM. So he gets a radio personality salary, which isn't much, you know. And But coming from Pittsburgh or from here, he thought, wow, this is, this is a lot of money. So he moved into New York City, and he quickly found out that he could not afford it. 
And so then he moved out to Rutherford. And was he in like Manhattan? Where was he living? He was in Manhattan on 8th and 50th. So right there. Right in the heart. He had the smallest apartment I've ever seen. We found it. I went up with one, with him one weekend. Yeah. We found it. He was paying, I think like, this is pretty cheap, but like 20... 700 maybe I think somewhere around there 27 or maybe 32 I can't remember exactly I think it was 2700 but it was like a little walk up four flights to this little box shoe box shoe box, shoe box she, so up, he couldn't afford a pizza place you <laughs> that's exactly what it was good pizza but you quickly learn that what a lot of money in one area is nothing in some other areas so definitely so New York is number nine number eight is Beijing this should come as no surprise uh, number seven is Ashgabat, which everyone knows is in Turkmenistan. <laughs> Why wouldn't you know everyone that? Everyone I mean, knows that Ashgabat is in Turkmenistan. So tell me where Turkmenistan is. <laughs> you know, if you paid me $200, I would need like 10 I guesses. Could, I could probably draw a big, big circle yeah. around <laughs> the area and say, all right, that's yeah, probably where Find the stands. Um, yeah, so this study, it's if a company is hiring someone and then that expat is moving to this country. So if you're a foreigner, consumer goods housing, things of that nature. It's, you know, if you're thinking of most expensive real estate, Ashgabat is probably not on the list, but in terms of living your life with your daily needs as a for foreigner, you could be a United States, could be a, a Brit, an Aussie, a whatever. Um, apparently Turkmenistan is more expensive than New York City. Go figure, I'd, I'd have to look That's into crazy. the numbers yeah. on that some more. These other cities are a little more mainstream, nothing against Turkmenistan. Shanghai, Zurich, Seoul coming in at number four, Singapore number three. Sing Singapore is the capital of Singapore. <laughs> yes, right? I know, it's we're, crazy. We're getting a geography we're learning, lesson. man. This yeah. is awesome. Getting a geography lesson here. The number two, Tokyo. This doesn't surprise me. Tokyo right. is Tokyo's amazing. very expensive. And it's basically like four or five New York cities inside of one entire metropolis. It's I was, huge. Yeah, I was there um, in the late 90s. Yeah. And honestly, it was the coolest place I've ever been. And, well, and back then... What brought you to Tokyo? I used to play a little, uh, little of the Skins, drummer. Drummer. Yeah. So, so you were touring I was, with your band in Tokyo. I was. Yeah, in my, I guess in my 20s. That kind of tells you how old I am, right? But yeah, so I was over there. And the cool thing about it is, it's true. It's like, it's a New York so many times over. Yeah. It just never ends. We rode the train... And it, it, there were buildings the entire time. We rode the bullet train. It took forever to get out of that city. But one thing I'll say about the city is it's super, super clean. Like, I've never seen a huge city like that that is so clean. You're so absolutely right. I say go to Tokyo. Check it out. And it's, it's it's super clean. And there's no... You've been there, right? He was just I there. was there in 2017. Yeah. Um, and it's super clean. And there's no trash cans anywhere. Where do people throw out their trash? I pick yeah. up trash, like, I don't pick up trash, but like I eat something and there's a wrapper and there's nowhere to throw it out. Apparently the shtick is that you like eat it and you can't walk when you eat. Did you know about this in no. Japan? No, oh, I didn't know that. Like I want to be efficient. I want to be able to walk down the street and eat, you know, multitask. You can't do that in Japan. People look at you weird. Oh, really? Well, they don't look at you because they don't want to be rude because yeah. they're like so nice over there, but you have to stand still and eat and then return your trash to the vendor. Hmm. So there's no trash cans anywhere. So That's crazy. Cleanest, yeah. cleanest city ever. Very clean. That's Very expensive, but super clean. Learn from it. Yep. Um, so that is number two. Number one on the list is a city that I've also gone to, right? Yeah, you sent me a picture from there. That was I did. amazing. Number one, the most expensive city for expats and one of the most expensive cities, period, hard stop, Hong Kong, which is not in China, but it is similar. It has a lot of qualities that China has. And I was just looking it up and the price per square foot average in Hong Kong is $1,500. Wow. So the house you were looking at, which is priced over a million, has got what? Price per square foot of 270, something yeah, like something that. Yeah, something like that. And it's not a cheap house. It's an extraordinary house in a great location with an amazing school district. And Just it's easy. priced seven times less than in Hong Kong. Yeah, and you think about, you know, some of the condos we sell, you're you're at about a seven hundred, six high sixes is kind yeah. of an average, you know. Yeah. You're three times almost three times this 
the price. That's insane. So it got me thinking, if in Hong Kong, the price per square foot is $1,500, what's stopping people from Hong Kong and others on this list Shenzhen and Beijing and these other Seoul, these other cities. What's stopping these people from coming over to New York City, DC? And just blowing it out, right? And they can they can get a, a seven seven x discount. Yeah. And you know China's catching on to this, and I think it's becoming a little more difficult for you as a Chinese national, not you specifically as a Chinese national, but in general to withdraw your money and place it in another bank because some my buddy, you know, he. He's in Hong Kong. He tells me about all the, the China news, and some people don't trust some of the Chinese uh, accounts, so they right. try to withdraw it. And China's like, hold on, like trust us. You can trust us, and they're making it more difficult to pull out. So the Vancouver market has been on fire recently. But I was just talking to someone up there, and they said it's, I wouldn't say cooling down, but there's been less investor play because of a little more restrictions uh, in terms of taxes and investors. And then also on the China side, holding back on getting that money out of China. Yeah, I've heard of I've heard of that happening where it's more more and more difficult to get the money out. But that says something. Eight of the ten are in Asia. Right. Eight of the top ten most expensive cities are in Asia. New York, which is hugely expensive, yeah. is number nine. San Francisco didn't even make didn't the even list. Make, didn't even cut like, it. That's insane. So yeah, let that hit your head a Hong, little bit. Hong Kong especially, and there's a lot of turmoil going on in Hong Kong right now. I was going to make a joke about, have you seen the protests? I did, yeah. It's You've crazy. Seen the pro- mm-hmm. I was, I was going to make a joke, but it's, and then I like looked into it. I was like, this mm. is a significant, yeah. this is a significant issue going on in Hong Kong right now. We don't have to get into what's going on, but China is basically like encroaching on Hong Kong and trying to basically rule the city and it's becoming more expensive. So I don't know what you would do if you live in Hong Kong, but if you have money and you don't trust the Chinese, uh, what's stopping you from coming to one of these other cities that we mentioned and just you know dropping it, parking your, your assets in, in real estate? So that's something to look for. You know, I, I'm, I'm booking a trip to Ashgabat. Yeah, <laughs> let me know how it is. because <laughs> I've never heard of it. They jumped the rankings. Go. Wow, yeah. they went from 43, they went from 43 to, seven. to 7. Wonder why. Did, they, did it go into... Um, you know, what is pushing these prices up? Or like, is it just the population? Because we know China, Yeah. I mean, the population is just so huge. Um, what, I mean, one of the biggest things was just the, the strength of the US dollar. So that's why you saw some of the other countries, like cities like London fall. Like Zurich, Zurich are the, you know. Yeah, and you think historically um, well-off, well-to-do cities, like your Paris, your, Oslo, you know, Madrid, a, 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 I call those A-type cities. Mm-hmm. Um, they're just ranked, you know, 40, 50, 80th on this list. Line, so 45, yeah. This is, this is more so if, think foreign national moving to another country for work. Not necessarily the most expensive cities in the world for regular uh, Johnny Arlington, you know, Matt Layton, Sean Battle to, uh, to live in. This is... Johnny Lake Barcroft, but we'll, we'll see about that. Yeah. But this is for, you know, if you're working internationally, and I think geo-arbitrage is huge right now, where if you can figure out a way to make money online, um, whether it's through a product, a course, um, trading, whatever it is, why do you need to live where you need to live? What's stopping you from moving to Costa Rica doing all your transactions online and just going to the beach and go surfing That's what I every do. single day. Heck yeah. So, That's it. you know, it's, it's less about waking up every day, going to your nine to five and more about figuring out what, what motivates you, what drives you, what city you want to spend time in, dude. I'd love to make it back to Hong Kong. I don't know about now with the protests, but I, I really enjoyed Hong Kong. I really enjoyed Tokyo. You know, I'll have to add Ashgabat to the list. Mm-hmm. Let me know. I, I think Southwest flies there. Does it really? No, it doesn't. No. It, they don't That's fly true. there. That's true. They probably use, like, Turkmenistan, like, old Turkmenistan motors Air. and, like, old engines. You know the best airline way back in the day yeah. was? Singapore Air. Did you ever fly Singapore? No. I would, why would I? If, if only you go to, to Tokyo. Singapore. Yeah. No, you, oh, if you go to Tokyo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did we air. Feel. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. We did something else. But cool. So those are the ten most. We can just sit here and talk about <laughs> Turkmenistan all day long. Those are the ten most expensive 
cities for expats in the entire world. Guys, if you've been to any of these cities, including Ashgabat, you know, we're just gonna have to go there sometime. We have to, right? I've never Let us know it. your experience in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. For Sean and myself, we'll see you next time.